Are you sick of darwolves yet? I hope not, because while I was researching about them this week, I learned something completely unexpected that was too good not to share. So I was reading the preprint article released by Colossal Biosciences, and I was looking at the section where they were explaining what makes direwolves unique from other species like wolves, and they mentioned specifically that they had a large baculum. Now, for those of you not in the know, a baculum is quite literally a penis bone. Yes, you heard me correctly. Some mammals quite literally have boners. Not every species of mammal is sporting a bone in their, you know, junk, but dire wolves most definitely did have a baculum. And we have lots of fossilized examples of dire wolf bacula from all different stages of development. Here's a whole paper devoted to the various bacula discovered at the La Brea Tar Pits. It has a whole section just for dire wolves, including this super unfortunate direwolf individual that literally broke his baculum and had it heal crooked. Anyway, back to this preprint. It seemed kind of strange to me that they were mentioning this baculum sized thing as a specific way to tell direwolves apart. So I decided to check it out and it led me to this paper that was published in 2024 that measured how bacula size changed with body size in the canid group. Canids just includes things like wolves and jackals and foxes, you know, relatives of dogs. The scientists measured a bunch of bacula and then plotted those measurements against the body size for each species. And they found that as canids grew larger, their baculum size increased proportionally with their body size. Except here's dire wolves right here. They were larger than other canids, so it would be expected that their baculum would be too. However, a dire wolf baculum is even larger than what would be expected based on just their body size alone. So I guess it's official. Extinct direwolves literally had big dick energy. 